Hey, my name's Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to add navigation menus to your Super website. So you can see here, I have a basic portfolio website set up in Super. And the first thing we're going to do before we add navigation menus is to confirm Super has detected the pages on our website. So head over to the pages page in Super. You can see here that Super has detected that we have a few pages on our site. If you don't have any pages on your site yet, and you don't see any pages in this list, be sure to check out our other video on how to add pages to your website first. Let's head into the navigation page and start by adding a navbar. First, click into the navbar page and we're going to begin by choosing a navbar type. I'm going to start with simple, but I'll show you how the other styles look a little later. Next, let's add a logo to our navbar menu. Click into the logo page within the navbar options section and you can see that by default, the navbar menu uses text as the logo but in this case, I'm going to upload an image. Once the image is uploaded, we can change the size of the logo, as well as add a dark mode version. Let's start adding some items to our menu. Head into the Manage Menu Items page and begin by clicking the Add Item button. I'm going to start by adding a link to the About page. So I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to choose About from the list and give it a custom icon. I'm also going to select that it shows on the navbar by default. As well as adding links to pages within our website, we can also add links to pages on different websites using the URL parameter. We can also add lists that allow us to create drop down menus. I'm going to create a drop down list here for all the different projects on my website. Once we've created the list, you can see that now we can begin adding list items. I'm going to quickly add a few list items for each project on our website. You can now see that the navbar is showing at the top right. We have two pages and a drop down list. The drop down list items can be customized even further by adding icons as well as a description. And now you can see the drop down menu is looking pretty awesome. Okay, let's add a call to action button to our navbar. At the bottom, we can give the call to action a title and choose a page or an external URL. Now that we've got a working navbar, I'm going to show you how the different navbar types look. The simple style features all the links and the actions on the right hand side. We have balanced, whereby the links appear in the middle, and minimal, where all the options appear in a drop down menu. I'm going to stick with the simple style for now, but it's also worth noting you can actually hide the entire navbar if you want to stick with using a different menu type like a sidebar. Let's explore the different options we have for customizing the styles of the navbar. In the navbar style page, you can customize the call to action button colors, as well as the navbar background color and text color. You can also change the height of the navbar and add a shadow. There's also some extra options that you can enable on the navbar. If you head into the options pages on your site, you can see there's an option to enable site search. This toggles a search icon button at the top right of the navigation menu. There's also an option to enable the color mode toggle, which allows users to toggle between the light and dark mode version on your site. Next, let's look at adding a footer to our website. Let's go back into the navigation page and into the footer page. If we scroll to the bottom of the site, we can then start by enabling a footer type. In this case, I'm going to choose corners, hit save. And since we already have some navigation menu items added, let's head into the menu items page if we click on the All tab, we can now quickly enable these on the footer by choosing the Set Item Visibility toggle and selecting some of the items to appear. You can also add social icons to the footer as well. By choosing the social icon type and adding URL, social icons will appear on the footer, allowing users to quickly navigate to your social media channels. The footer also has several other options, including adding a footnote for copyright notices or small text features, as well as a divider. Okay, so we're almost there. There's one final menu type that we can enable on our site, and that is the sidebar. The sidebar is an awesome menu type for websites that have a bunch of different pages. It allows users to navigate your site much quicker. Here's an example of a website that utilizes the sidebar to its full extent. It has its own light and dark toggle button, as well as a search field, and a bunch of different menu items including lists, and even a call to action section at the bottom. So that's it. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. For more videos like this and to continue learning how to use Super, check out some of the links in the description.
Until next time, stay super.